Good day everyone. Welcome to another episode of our AutoCAD MEP tutorial series. In our last class, we designed the fire alarm or fire protection series. But sometimes you may be required to design an audio system for a project. So today we'll be designing for the home audio system. The main component in an audio system includes the speaker which may be a normal recessed ceiling speaker we used to call it pop speakers or the concealed wall fitted speakers likewise we also have the volume control and the amplifier so in this our project we'll be using two types of amplifier we have a localized one and the centralized amplifier the basic concept is that we are using two types of system we will have one for each individual species then we direct each individual amplifier to a centralized assembly so after then some of the basic considerations why designing an audio system includes the speaker sensitivity which do actually determine the speaker spacing and the speaker layout. We do also consider the power for the amplifier and most especially the cabling system. So for the spacing, the simplest approach for the ceiling mounted speakers is to space them twice to three times the room depth. This implies a room of 2.5 meter depth, or you call it 2.5 meter height. The speakers will be spaced 5 meter interval, while a room of 3 meter will be spaced 6 meter. But the basic principle or analogy for audio system is that the higher the building elevation, the lower the speaker numbers required. Based on this, for a room of 4 meter, the speakers can be spaced 8 to 12 meter. And for the wall speakers, you will rather consider the room depth to be the room width. So you design it based on the same principle. We actually have three methods in designing our speaker layout. We have the edge to edge method, which is the best method. We have the minimum overlap and the maximum overlap. Considerably, we mostly do use the edge to edge method while designing. And for the amplifier power, the simplest approach is to assume it to be the cumulative power of each individual speakers. While the cabling system, we mostly use the CAT 5E or the CAT 6 cable. So let's proceed now to the project design. Here's our ground floor. Here's our main lounge, dining and kitchen. We need to make reference to the room depth, which you can determine it from the elevation of the building or the section design. But for this project, I've actually called the architect and he has given me the value to be 3 meter. That means we can proceed to the design. So as always, let's copy our legend. This is our 2 watt 4 inch 90 decibel, which is a, is a factor of, of the speaker sensitivity. So let's copy this. CO or CP. Enter. Specify base point. And let's go to our low current or low power design. So let's place it somewhere around here. S, let's increase the scale 1.5. So after then, we are having one here. Let's just confirm the width of this room.
this implied one will be enough cp let's have one here and for a dining one here like I saw a kitchen one here let's place one here one here let's place one at our lobby one here and for the paint block one, one. 